workshop. And, and I kind of want to use this, um, this approach to talk about moving. Um, you don't really need Flickr for this or anything, but I just, I'm going to use it as a model because it's kind of cool. Um, and it shows us a little, it shows you a little bit of how to do, how to think hypertextually without using um, TiddlyWiki, which is really the goal. I mean, TiddlyWiki is not the, um, sorry, Jeremy, but it's not simply the platform that most people are going to use. They're going to use um, other kinds of platforms over time. So this, this site, if this, then that, um, allows you to create things called recipes. Okay, and I'm going to create a recipe, and you have to turn on channels and things like that. So you'll see how it goes. I'm just going to create a recipe and walk through the logic here. So if this, and the channel that we're going to look for is Flickr. So if Flickr, and I have to connect it, I'm sorry, Steve, we're getting a lot of feedback there. It sounds like you've got a bunch of angry birds in there. Hello, Kira. I just muted everybody. Um, Kim will not be muted, though. Hello, Kim. Hi. How you doing? Did you have um, any specific... I see that you joined in a little bit. Did you have any questions or something before I get going? Or um, No. Okay. Um, did you want to drive today? Instead of me, I'd much rather you drove. <laughs> Everybody else declined. I'll drive. Okay. So I've connected my Flickr channel. And I'm going to choose a trigger, something that creates something to happen. So I'm going to choose a new public photo. And I think that this is to my Steve Suny account, but I'm not sure. Let's see. This is to my design right account. That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to say, if there's a new public photo on Flickr, then what do I want to have happen? Well, I want um, Dropbox to wake up. And I want to create a text file in Dropbox. And here you'll see if some things that look a little bit similar. They're different fields. I'm going to title the field. I'm going to title the... Um, file that's going to be created. Um, we'll just put the title in there. Um, and then the actual content. I'm going to make it, um, we're going to look for the title and the, um, and you'll see we're going to put in the title as tags, which will make sense in a few minutes. And put that up on the line ahead. And we're looking for, I think it's the Flickr URL, but I'm just going to put them in all for now. So you can begin to see how these um, and we'll do a whole bunch of work with this. Uh, we'll call it uploaded date. and take a date. And so what this is, is this is going to be the exact text file that we create. And you'll see in a few minutes when you import this into TiddlyWiki, it'll do a very nice job and create a Tiddler for us that will look just like this, except these things will all be fields. Tag, source URL, description, Flickr URL, et cetera, will all be fields. And the one thing that we need is the actual text of the tiddler, which I think I'm just, I'm going to use um, source URL. I can get it from my list of ingredients. And I'm pretty sure that I want, I think I want a Flickr URL. I can't remember. But you play with this and you kind of get it. And we're going to save it to my Dropbox Flickr and I'm going to create the action. And, um, Yes, yeah, Steve Suni Polly's photo stream. Then create a text file and design rights Dropbox file. Okay, so I'm going to create the recipe. And um, I'll check it. It'll work. 
it's checked and it's active now. So it has never been run. It's created less than a minute ago. So let's make something happen on Flickr. Um, I usually do Flickr from the phone. So using the Flickr app on my phone, if I'm gonna flip around to it, my Death Wish Coffee this morning. Anybody see the Super Bowl commercial last night for Death Wish Coffee? Yeah, they had a bit about it on CBS Sunday morning last week as well. Yeah, so I bought it. My father-in-law wanted it. So, um, so I'm going to... Um, I'm going to title the, um, the photo and you're going to see it come up in a second. Death wish. Um, and, and I'm just going to use a whole bunch of wiki words, um, that I might want to write a story about. So I'll we'll call it, um, death wish, um, coffee addict. And, uh, I'll give it a super bowl title too, because that's where I got it from. And I'll, post it okay. and um, that should be posted. And so I'm just going to click my photo stream again. Okay. So there's the photo I just posted and you will see something pop up in here in the upper right hand corner of my screen, but it might be on my lower, um, about the, the uh, recipe being run. Um, let's check the log. It takes a few minutes. Um, it was created three minutes ago and it hasn't run yet, but it will. It takes a few minutes to, for the, um, to, to get there, but you can see that how I've written the caption there, Death Wish, Coffee Addict, Super Bowl, um, all in wiki words, um, which will make sense in a few minutes. Um, those two cows standing outside the barnyard. Um, this one I put in yesterday, three goats eating hay. They're eating hay off the rocking chair. They're in the barn. So this is sort of like maybe my noun, three goats, maybe a verb eating hay, maybe a little location place, rocking chair in barn. This is when I was playing around with a slightly different approach. Um, when I was writing full sentences, this is some of the work that I did with some on a previous project. Um, so let's see if it's fired yet. I haven't gotten the message. It hasn't fired. Um, meantime, I'm going to bring up my Dropbox in another tab. Put this here. I want it here. There it is. Okay, so do you see this just up here? Um, it'll come. So it created a folder called if, and then a flip folder called Flickr. And then here's the folder, here's the file that it created, okay? Um, everybody able to see that? And let's just check this. This is the URL. Just give me some verbal response that you're there, that you're seeing it. I can see it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, I can't see much, but I'm on a phone. Yeah, okay. So we've gotten, <laughs> so we've gotten the file to work. Um, so we've created a file in Dropbox. I'm going to bring up my finder to the screen. You have to do a little bit of an, bit of an annoying thing here, which is you have to, um, here it is. You have to change this file from, and this is going to be a little different in Windows than it is in Mac, but you have to change it to what's called the .tid file. The extension has to be .tid for tiddler. It says, you really want to do that? And I say, yes. Okay. And um, then I'm going to use this paper clip here in the, in tiddly wiki to import a file. And I'm going to import it from my Dropbox. Ta-da. If. Flickr, 
that tid. And um, this rarely will work the first time, but we'll give it a shot. I'll import it and um, right. So what we want to have happen here is we want this to be an image tag. And that's not. Oh, Flickr URL short. Ah, sorry, it needs the HTTP. That should work. We'll try it this way. And Flickr is not serving my image. <sighs> hey Steve, sorry, can I just ask, what is your Flickr name? Because at least I can see that part as much. Yeah, that Flickr name is Steve Suni Polly. Steve Suni Polly. All one word? Uh, yes. Cool. Thanks for that. Um, and I forgot, I sometimes forget to get the right URL. Um, so part of this is sort of decoding precisely what. Um, what Flickr, you, what Flickr wants um, or what Flickr uses as a, as a URL that it will serve on the web. And so um, one way to get it is to get the embed code. And that's it right there. Um, why this isn't working, I don't know. I, I think I got an idea why it might not be working. Yeah. Remember how I was saying I was having a problem with that Twitter feed and the Facebook feed? How yeah. they're interfering with each other? I got a response from the website where I posted that question to, and they said the problem is you can't mix HTTP with HTTPS because it's a security feature in the browsers. Ah. So, but if you host it from, like, say, my server, it will work, but when you're going through Dropbox, the HTTP and the HTTPS interfere with each other. Well, that's gonna destroy the whole exercise. Unfortunately, yes. That's just a guess because from what the message board, the one person told me about the problem I was having. Yeah, I've had this work in earlier today. Um, pretty strange that we have to do that. Um, not too happy about that because I don't have access to that URL. Um, This is deeply disappointing to me. This is how it was working before. And it's clearly not working that way now. Um, Ooh, well, this is no fun at all. I'm going to go back to my recipe. I'm going to do a little editing to see if I can find another approach. Um, did they give us any other hooks? Original source URL, that's the one we need, okay.
See how this URL is this, that very long one that seems to work over there? So we need the original source URL, and that's my problem. So in the text of the Tiddler, we want, um, sorry about that. I just pulled the wrong field. So the text of our URL, we want to say, and, he, there was, and the reason I wanted to show you this in detail is that you can just type kind of tiddlywiki code here. Um, inside those curly braces, just like in tiddlywiki, um, that text will be transcluded. Okay, so we want the title to be our title, the tags to be the same as our title. We don't need this source URL. The description Flickr URL is useless to us. The uploaded data is important. And we need the original source URL. And the ingredient we want for that is this. Okay. And so we're going to update our recipe. And I just got a notification from if that my recipe ran. Um, we'll switch from coffee to goats. I'm gonna put another one up there. Um, this one I'm gonna tag is three. Well, I'm titling it technically. Three goats, um, sunny day um, in barn, and I'll post it. Oh no, I forgot to hit update. Okay, we'll look at the log file. We'll see it run again in a few minutes. It takes, a, it, does, it takes a little longer than you expect, which is only a problem when you are um, doing what I'm doing, which is actively testing a recipe. Um, and I can share this recipe. So once we've got it working, everyone else can use the recipe. So while we're waiting for that, what I'm suggesting that we would be able to do with these, this collection of photographs is notice how I ran, um, when I asked for the um, tags, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna edit this over here while we're talking. Um, when I asked for the tags to be the title, what it does is it puts all the words I put in the title in these as a tag, okay? Um, and I should probably put another tag in there. Flicker picks, we'll call it. Um, so we'll run this again in a few minutes. So now, if I did this for a bunch of photographs that I'm taking from my Flickr account, from my phone, and I'm just saving them to Flickr with this special kind of caption or titling, then when I have enough of these, I'll be able to click on Death Wish, and it will take me to the photographs that match that. Um, and give me a navigational scheme as well. Okay, so if we, we'll, you'll see it when we upload a few of these. Um, I'm going to update this again. That you can ultimately eventually use this as a means of creating a story. Um, looks like it triggered 14 minutes ago. We need another trigger. It takes a little longer than I would have expected it to. Okay. Um, so, um, oh, hello, Kira. I saw that you've joined us too, and, and Kim and Cassandra, James. Um, anyone, what would, imagine what you would be able to do if you had, and this, Kira, I think is close perhaps to the project that you were talking about building. Yeah, that looks interesting. Yeah, what would you be able to do if you had 20 of photographs or 50 photographs? all tagged in this way? Well, for 
my particular project, I'd want to have photographs of plants, and so I'd be organizing them by season and by plant part, like branch or root or leaf. Mm -hmm. uh, edibility, whether it's good to eat or not. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Flickr account, by any way, Kira, by any yeah. chance? Yep. Okay. Um, do you have any photos on your phone or on your computer that you could share up to Flickr? I do, yes. Okay. So um, before you do that, um, let's see if this one, this next one works, and then we'll use yours. Yeah. Um, it surprises me how long it takes for this thing to run, but I shouldn't complain for what I'm paying for it, I suppose. Of course, it's zero. Um, let's see if, back to photo stream, if we've gotten my new picture. I'm sure it's on Flickr, it's here. So this is again, three, go, where's the caption? Um, three goats, sunny day in barn. So notice again, I'm writing my description. If you use the app, you see, you only get to write a, a title to the picture. You can't write a description. You can't write comments in the app, which is pretty annoying and you can't use tags, which is highly annoying. <laughs> um, and if, and Tags are not available as a field that if will recognize. So you can't, um, you just can't do it. Um, go back and see if they wrote. Okay, here's my three goats, sunny day in barn text. Um, remember in the Mac version of the world, um, I'm gonna select the file. It looks pretty good. It's like there should have been an return here, so that's probably going to screw us up. Um, come on. Oh, I'm in the wrong space. I'm going to go back and rename the file. This is something I always forget to do. Get rid of that text, and I would love if somebody could figure out a way to. It's probably a simple script to write that'll do that, but I'm not very uh, good at that. I'm going to come back to my. Um, to the wiki, I'm going to import it. Import. Let's see how we did. It looks like we didn't get our text quite in there because there's some issues with how it's working. And I'm okay with having you see all this really annoying work that I have to do, <laughs> because this is pretty much how it works. Um, so I'm just gonna cheat and edit that, okay? And you will get there. Um, turn your head on the side and you'll see how that picture works. Um, but the general idea here is that you use Flickr if you wanted to take a bunch of pictures from your phone, take pictures from your phone and upload them to your public Flickr directory. Using the phone app, you can title your pictures, title it with um, wiki words, with in camel case. Use the Flickr recipe, which I'll share with you. Um, and you can pull off of here to make sure that you put the title, the Flickr title in the tags field, and then you'll be able to navigate across all of your pictures by your tags. Okay. So in general, what this does is gives you an opportunity to um, create a meaningful, open-ended photo essay based in tags with the navigational structure built in. Okay. So um, I'm gonna try one more shot at editing my recipe. And it generally takes three, four times to do the recipe. And I wanted to, I thought of actually doing this all ahead of time and having it all work, but then I always think that's unfair when somebody demos something that works perfectly and then you go to do it and they don't show you the struggle that they actually go through to get the damn thing to work. Um, it wants these to be on different lines. 
We want that text to be on its own line. We want this to say taken date because we need, TiddlyWiki needs a file that is a series of name value pairs separated by an exclamation point. So this is the name description, not separated an exclamation point, separated by a colon. The name of the field description, a colon, and then the name of the Tiddler field, okay? Um, you can put some manual breaks in here. Um, and let's see if that will work. That's looking better. I'm going to update it. And we'll try one more shot. Um, I'm going to do one more thing. If you um, if you add I'll put the taken date up in the name of the tiddler. Um, because then if you happen to write this, if you happen to upload the same a photo, two different photographs, but using the same tags, as long as they're on different days, then you'll still be able to have them because obviously all your tiddlers need to have unique names in their title. I'll update this. Um, and here, if you want to go ahead and let me see you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I think this recipe is good. This is looking like I've gotten all the errors. Um, and I'm going to publish this recipe. Um, this is called Flickr to Dropbox for TiddlyWiki. Um, and then this creates a file that can be imported as a Tiddler, uh, changing the extension. That's an X. Looks good. Publish the recipe. And now any of you can get this recipe on if and um, you can use it. I don't know what add does. Okay, if you search by the way for um, tiddly wiki and if you'll see that I think I've written all the recipes so far and um, some of them work better than others this is very this is probably identical to the one we just worked on this looks like I've been trying to do this a while <laughs> so here's some of the older ones um, and any one of you can grab this recipe I would use the one that we just worked on um, I'm going to send one more photograph and then we're going to so um, Kira and anybody else who's got a Flickr account, if you want to download that recipe from if, um, you might need to create an if account. I don't know if you have one of those, Kira. I don't yet. I think I will soon. Yeah, it, it's, um, so I'll do one more picture um, of my um, horses. Come on, capital H. One thing I hate about Typing on the phone is the is the key press to get a capital letter. Hey, Steve. Yes, go ahead. I'm on the IFT site at the moment. I see all of your flickered tiddlywiki ones. Which one is the most recent one you created? It doesn't oh, seem to have written. dates or times or anything. I know it's annoying, isn't it? The one that's written by Design Right X. The others are by Steve Sumi. Ah, uh, okay. So I'd need to. Search for TiddlyWiki. I was, uh, yes. I was actually on Steve Sunni. Yeah, there's three by Steve. So if you search for TiddlyWiki, you'll get all. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for that. Yep, that's fine. So I just posted it again. Um, go back to my recipes. Um, this is the one that we're working on. Um, let's look at the log file. This will take five minutes to run and hopefully this will work. 
And again, what it's really about is it's a different way of thinking through hypertext, okay? Rather than starting with a design of what you're going to have, what it's going to look like, I'm encouraging you all to go out, take your phones, take a camera, take a bunch of pictures about anything, share them to Flickr, or and you, can, you can do this directly to Dropbox if you'd rather, if you don't feel like going through Flickr. I kind of like the idea of taking a picture on your phone and having it end up in your Tiddly Wiki. I think that's kind of cool. But just writing a bunch of wiki words in the title of the picture, eventually importing them to your Tiddly Wiki and and building a story out of that. And you can see if you, you know, if you did, like I have a bunch of barn pictures, so for me, barn pictures work well. Um, but you can see if you had a bunch of barn pictures, um, you know, pictures of, like, in Kira's case, of plants, um, then, um, you know, then these things will allow you to have a story emerge. And so this is entirely different than the previous exercises where you were starting with something and building something out to something. Here we're starting without a structure or substance or a, a concept, and we're going to see what happens as we create that. Um, I'll, I'll try and send you some photos of some sunshine so you can get used to it. Yeah, well, all mine are from <laughs> New York out in the country, so we'll see how that works, right? Um, <laughs> so let's see if we got this up yet. Um, come on. I get very impatient when I'm waiting for um, silly things to upload. But again, like, you know, usually you upload it and a couple minutes later you get a text. You can turn on notifications and flicker and I get a text saying that it's run. Um, it takes a few minutes. Um, only a problem when you're trying to teach a class live on the web. Um, very impatient. Let's go. Come on. I'm having a little trouble with a Dropbox image in my tiddly wiki. Who's that? That's Kira. Yeah, what, what do you mean? So you don't um, actually have Dropbox images in your tiddly wiki, right? Sorry, what? You don't actually have images in Dropbox. I do. Okay. Yeah, I tried to, um, yeah, I shared the photo and I, took that link and I put it in a tiddler. I said, you know, image and that link and it doesn't show up. Okay. Um, here's how to do that. It's a slightly different process. I'll do it for my screenshots. Um, you share the link, copy the link, close it, go back to your tiddly wiki or my tiddly wiki in this case and search for, um, Generating Dropbox shared URL. Paste it. Open it. Should give you the image. And then I can copy that into a new titler. Inside an image tag. Um, that should serve the image. You want to share your screen and see how how if we're, if that's that process works. Yeah, sure. Well, that, that looks great. I'll have to sign in the Dropbox. I can stop sharing mine. Which tiddler are you on, Kira? Um. What's the name of the tiddler? I'm on your site at the moment. You're you're probably on an older version of mine because I. Oh, I see. So go ahead and share your screen, Kira, and we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. See, there's my tiddly wiki. Okay, so I just got the text, by the way, mine. My computer is being slow. I'm not sure I'm on an older one of yours, Kira. It looks like uh, you last posted in the year 2121. Yeah. <laughs> um, the titler should be called Snowy Hill. Actually, it was there earlier. So it's Snowy Hill, no spaces.
Yeah, I've got it, Kira. I can see the problem. Okay. Uh, the URL you're using is just dropbox.com. You need to change that to the dl.dropbox user content. Oh. That's what it is. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Yeah, that's an easy fix. And um, I'm going to stop your share. Um, and the way I did that was pasting. There's lots of ways to do it, but the simple way is to do um, generate Dropbox shared URL. Yeah. Paste in a you know paste in a regular Dropbox URL. Um, oh, I'm still viewing Kira's screen, right? Yep. Okay. I said I wanted to cancel your screen. There you go. There, I took it over because I'm the, I'm the, the all powerful. Um, you paste in one of these URLs and hit and click open. It will generate the URL for you that you can then paste into a tiddler. Yeah. Okay. Um, so here we're back on my wintry day horse. This looks like a pretty good recipe now. Um, I'm going to change the um, file from a text to a tid, which is I complain about bitterly every time I have to do it because I have to do it manually. And I don't like doing things manually. I'm going to import the tiddler using the paper clip or the import function. Um, click import and Look at that. Other than having to turn your head. That was yesterday when my horses were out. That's, they're not in a pasture. They're in the field, the hay field next door. Um, but now because I, I've got all of my Flickr picks on the same tag, so I can navigate to the different Flickr picks. And of course, if I had more tags of horses out, I'd be able to navigate from photo to photo. Um, so I think this is a, is a um, in, this is a uh, an interesting extension of this work um, where we were able to navigate from the red ball to the blue ball and from the blue ball to the blue flower because they share a set of tags. Um, what we did with the, and if you're not, if you haven't seen the previous um, video of the tutorial, I think I made it last Wednesday about how to use um, spreadsheets and import them. It's the same logic. You're able, you're moving from tiddler to tiddler to tiddler using tags to navigate, and the tags are descriptive of the images that you've got. The difference between the spreadsheet approach is that with the spreadsheets, you predefine everything. And with the Flickr approach or the photo approach, you leave it open-ended with a bunch of tags. Um, and your tags will form, allow you to form a story. Um, so let me stop my 